you are probably all familiar with the human microbiome. The collection of microorganisms like bacteria and fungi which are present throughout our body. Without these, we would not be able to function properly. You are also familiar that there is another class of organisms called viruses, and these are often viewed as destructive, responsible for causing many diseases, and having the ability to adapt quickly to their changing environments. What you may not be aware of is that there is equally a virome within our bodies. Viruses can be found in every tissue from blood cells to our brains and in some cases even interwoven into the genetic code within our own cells. Again here, these viruses play key critical roles in the functioning of the entire system we call human. Let's explore the strange world of these viruses within your body. If we look at the human body, we know that there are roughly the same number of bacteria in our body as we have cells. And just to give you an idea, this equates to about 37 trillion bacteria. And it may come as a bit of a surprise that your body has over 10 times that amount in viruses. These viruses are not there lying dormant waiting to cause some sort of illness. Instead, they are involved in essential body processes, forming part of our inner ecosystem. Without them, we really wouldn't be able to survive for very long. Our understanding of viruses is very limited, and we really do not know what most of these viruses do exactly, or even what most of them are. Currently, it is estimated that only about 1% of the viral diversity has been explored. This means most viruses remain undiscovered, for which some scientists have the rather catchy name viral dark matter. Despite this lack of understanding, they occur throughout all parts of the body. In a study conducted by Dr. Ki Sato from the University of Tokyo, they discovered viruses in human tissue including brain, blood, kidney and liver. Most of the viruses that have been discovered are considered harmful or pathogenic. This creates a bias in the search for these missing viruses. Most literature presents viruses as small machines that after making contact with a human cell surface, injects its DNA or RNA code, hijacking the cell's machinery, turning it into a factory to make more copies of itself. Most images of viruses portray an alien-like machine with a whole series of spikes on the surface intent only on destruction. Yet most viruses are not as alien as they are being portrayed. Viruses can be transmitted by a wide range of mechanisms. Some are able to pass viral DNA directly between human cells by integrating them into the chromosomes. A staggering 8% of the human genome is composed of these endogenous retroviruses. If we take an example of the DNA code for the direct production of protein molecules, then only 2% of the DNA code is actually required. The rest was thought to be junk DNA. Now lots of this DNA is thought to be derived from previous virus insertions. And we have discovered that it is highly important for regulating the transcription of other genes. Some virus genes do occur in human DNA regions that produce essential proteins. How these came to cohabit with our DNA is unclear, but they now form part of the process required for the essential functioning. So whether we should call them human or viral genes is unclear. They form important parts of many of the human systems. One gene that is used in the development of the human placenta comes from an endogenous retrovirus. This virus is thought to have developed to make proteins fuse host cells together. Through the evolutionary path, this process of gene harvesting from across the tree of life seems to have occurred many times. The more we learn about the human body, the more we realize that it truly is an ecosystem that needs to be maintained. Like in any ecosystem, an imbalance of one species can lead to the collapse of parts or the whole ecosystem. The same thing seems to occur in our body's ecosystems. Biophages are viruses that attack bacteria in our bodies. These play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy balance in our diverse human ecosystem. Another role that is important is the protection from outside threats. And here too, viruses seem to play a crucial role. In humans, hepatitis G virus can protect against HIV, while in mice, herpes virus is known to reduce autoimmune diseases. 
It is therefore thought that viruses have an important role in maintaining immune tone in humans, and this means a healthy immune system which is ready to respond to pathogens but is not over or underactive. The more we learn, the more we seem to find this connectedness to everything around us. We view ourselves as individuals, but the reality is that we are giant vessels that harbours many diverse ecosystems that function together, forming the organism known as a human. Each part is largely unaware of the larger system. Can the same be true of us and our connection with our immediate environment and beyond? As always, be brave, be curious, the truth is waiting for us. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.